This is my best friend. He was an Eagle Scout. He was deeply involved with his church. A good father. Tonight, William Griffith remembers his son Samuel, a son who became a Marine fighter pilot and a reservist based in West Palm Beach. Major Griffith was known as a young man who gave his all to family and country, and now he's given his life on a battlefield in Afghanistan. News Channel 5's Rochelle Ritchie spoke with his mother and stepfather who live here in Palm Beach County. She joins us now with more on their memories of their son. It's new at 11. Rochelle? Well, Kelly and Michael, it was Major Samuel Griffith's third tour, but this one he volunteered for. He had only been in Afghanistan five weeks before he was killed. Tonight, his family gained enough strength to talk to us and remind us that we are still at war. Don and Kathy Bishop are at a loss for words. We were great friends, and you know? I don't know. It just, I just can't believe he's gone. With tears in her eyes and clutching her son's dress blues, Major Samuel Griffith's mother shares her anguish of her son's loss and appreciation for the life he lived. I've been feeling lost today, but I know ultimately that Sam was a godly man and he's in heaven. 36-year-old Major Samuel Griffith was a Marine Corps fighter pilot who has served for 15 years. He's seen duty before in Iraq and Afghanistan. It was November 8th of this year when Major Griffith volunteered to serve again in Afghanistan as an air controller with the 4th Anglico. That was his unit based in West Palm Beach. Griffith's decision unsettled one of his two boys who wrote him a letter. Saying, uh, Daddy, I don't want you to go to war. I don't want you to die. I'll be mad if you really die. Tonight, the day before his youngest son's sixth birthday, just five weeks after leaving for Afghanistan, Griffith was killed. According to his mother, shot in the head by enemy combat fire. His family got the news this morning. I believe he was killed instantly. I mean, they medevaced him to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. His mother said she would hear of other troops dying and pray for their families and pray for her son. I never wanted it to be me. But here I am. A proud Marine who paid the ultimate price to defend his country and the freedom of others. His parents say it is a reminder that despite troops coming home from Iraq, there are still many fighting a war. They don't realize all the people that are overseas, you know, they're ducking this and they're ducking that. It seems like, it seems like Afghanistan is the forgotten war. And Griffith's mother says she sent her son's Christmas card in the mail yesterday. I'm Michelle Ritchie, WPTV News Channel 5.